News R with Arnab Goswami. It is by far the biggest arrest in a scam that continues to haunt and shame the very foundations of our democratic nation. Amar Singh finally in the CBI net for conspiring to pay cash for votes. Today, three top leaders who waived cash in parliament are behind bars. Amar Singh, former BJP MPs Fagan Kolaste, Mahabir Bhagoda. While Amar tried to escape till the last minute and escape the law, evade the law by saying he's unwell, he couldn't escape Tihar. In fact, the running joke is that perhaps there should be another session which is held soon in Tihar considering the number of politicians who have landed up there. However, on a serious note, the question is, what about the others? Will heads roll? More significantly, how can we even assume that Amar Singh was acting on his own? He was obviously acting for the UPA. Who in the UPA was Amar Singh acting for? Should this story begin or close with Amar Singh? Is this cover up number two? There are so many questions tonight. We are throwing this up for even debate. And I do hope that the story gets opened up after this because there are many questions which need to be answered. The nature of what happened, the nature of the sting operation, what really was the game going on behind the scenes, whether there was a collective effort from all the players involved to cover up this whole matter. My first question is, first let me introduce Dr. Ajay Kumar, former IPS officer and member of parliament. Thank you for coming. Investigative editor of Tehelka, Ashish Khaitan has been following the story. Other participants also coming in. Ravi Shankar Prasad, my first question is to you. Two of your MPs are now in jail. Do you have any defense on their behalf? Because they were also the we bribe givers and uh, the bribe takers in this case. Arnav, they were the whistleblowers. Unfortunately, a very courageous news channel which has done the sting operation developed cold feet. Would they show the vats of note inside the parliament for self-incrimination? They were whistleblowers. In 2008, everyone in the know of Delhi knew how people were being approached. And or not, don't forget only two, three BJP MPs. Nearly 19 MPs voted against their party or abstained themselves. They were either most of them Dalit MPs or tribal friends or only those whose constituency was going to become non-existent as a result of delimitation. It was a conspiracy already there. And therefore, the Delhi police, not the CBI, does not do anything for three years. The Supreme Court reprimands them, asks them what is the source of fund, from where the fund has come. I have got the charge sheet before me or now running into 80 pages, not a whisper as to from where the money has come. Was Amar Singh acting solo? He was not a member of the cabinet. His then party, Samajwadi party, was not a part of the government. It was extending support from outside. How come Mr. Amar Singh yeah. would do this much to ensure the success of this government? Now of how UPA? do we, first and of all, last word or no, Mr. Prasad, in law, in, in, in law, in law, well, just one line, in law, entrapment is very much valid. CBI day in and day out tells a person who is approached by an officer that you put some color on the notes and will catch you when they give the money. Day in and day out, Delhi police sends decoy customers to nab red light areas where prostitution is going know? on. Nothing is wrong. How do we know? It's How do we know? There. How and do we the know? Shame you are, you're, the country. you are saying this. Yes, Mr. Prasad, you are saying all this. How do we know? We never saw that sting operation on the only day when it was relevant. You are saying that there were deep motives here to protect democracy. Yes, and one minute, very, one minute. Uh, and even those who were after the sting operation say they all these. Now my question is, the sting operation was not telecast on that particular day. I don't, I, I you know, so what you're saying uh, cannot be taken is, at face value. The, the, or no, the, or no, the point is, or no, the point is, many people do not have the courage of the great Arna Goswami. That's one thing. Second, when it was shown on the floor of the house, it was unconventional, but exposed it was done because Indian democracy was shamed on that day. Um, yeah. Let me ask a question to you. Today, the FIR and the charge sheet does show that money was paid from Amar Singh through his secretary Saxena to these people who were acting as whistleblowers. No. I am again asking a question to you. Yeah. On whose behalf was Amar Singh acting? Was he acting solo 
the beneficiary was the UPA government. And or not, don't forget, during that crucial period, the Prime Minister had two, three crucial meetings with Mr. Amar Singh. He had asked him how things are being managed. I am getting a little uncomfortable. I have a question. No, no, no. One second, one second, one second, one second. Second. This whole sting operation. One minute, one minute, one minute. I have, I have one more question. Ashish Kethan knows more on the story than many on us. I'm going to go to him and I'm going to get Ajay Kumar. But I have one, one question to you. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to cross-question you, but I have a curious question for you. You know, this whole sting operation, which was not shown on that particular day, the BJP had provided documentary proof for this scandal, right? Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, you provided the documentary proof. It was not a sting operation done by a news channel. It was a set up by the BJP, right? There's no doubt about that. It was set up by you, organized by you. The news channel was incidental. It played along with you. The question is, if the BJP was recording evidence, why were transactions in Amar Singh's house recorded? Was the BJP trying to shield, since the sting operation, you are the author, you are the progenitor, you are Sudhindra Kulkarni, was the planner and the director and the producer. Why weren't transactions in Amar Singh's house recorded? Was the BJP trying to shield Amar Singh because it was obvious there had been a recording of this, Amar Singh would have been nailed directly. Who shielded Amar Singh? Where are the recordings of Amar Singh's, which happened in Amar Singh's like, house? Yes. Uh, or no, or no, first of all, let me clarify, not the BJP, but some BJP MPs and Sudhil Kulkarni were acting like whistleblowers. That's the point number one. Yes, some of the recordings were not done properly, which ought to have been for How the channel in question. You should ask that question to him. To whom? But when that was not, just a minute, and when that was not shown, though shown subsequently after some, during late period, our MPs who had gone there exposed the whole thing on the floor of the house. Yeah. And number two, not only the BJP's two, three MPs or Nagoswami, 19 MPs did vote against their party's whip or abstained themselves, including of Akali Dal. If the larger question remains, who was the beneficiary? The beneficiary was the UPA government. Yeah. And open the newspapers okay. of those period, Amar Singh was frequently in meeting with Dr. Manmohan Singh. Is it a fact or not? Uh, you're making a charge. You're, 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 you're making a charge. Talk to any MP. You're making a here, charge. Including, including senior MPs who were being approached. Okay, now I'm, I'm moving on. I'm not making a charge. I'm stating a fact. Okay, sir. Therefore, uh, you open the newspapers. Amar Singh had many meetings with the Prime Minister. I don't. Uh, Mr. 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 Avishankar Prasad. And if that is the case, are now only one point more. Are now only one point more. If everything was okay, if BJP was the culprit, why did you not take action for three years? Why? I'm asking why you. Delhi police I'm asking you, sir. Only was there some backroom deal between Congress Court. and BJP? Was I'm not being conspiratorial. Maybe there was a backroom deal between bullshit. Congress and BJP. And it is below my dignity to reply to this kind of contemptuous charge okay. <laughs> being leveled by you whom I hold with great respect. Okay, Mr. Prasad. condemnable, yes. baseless, yes. BJP inside the parliament, outside the parliament has been campaigning for it. Right. Mr. Prasad, I'm going to my next participant now. Thank you for that. Mr. Prasad, an aggressive frame of mind today. I'm going to second participant Thank today, you. Ajay Kumar. Do you take, I know Ashish Ketani wanted, do you, do you take, what is the real story here? Do you think the story begins or ends with Amar Singh? And would you like to respond to any of the points being made by Mr. Prasad? Uh, one is uh, Arnab for uh, Ravi's uh, logic or whole argument is based on who benefits. Now, we are assuming that the benefit was the government would be safe. So let's, and the logic was the numbers were with the government by that time. And so the question of benefit is again a conjectural uh, question. The benefit can also be in different levels, you know. It, can the benefit be there to embarrass the government? And what do we know on the, what are the facts on the table? The facts on the table is that it was a BJP sting operation. The facts on the table was that the crucial recording with Mr. Amar Singh is not there. That's the facts on the table. The third fact on the table no, we was... we are told it's not there. One minute, one minute. That we are told it's not there. We are, we are, we are told it's not the, there. Uh, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Was, Ajay, always been pro Ajay on Amar Singh. They've been pro-nuclear. No, no, Amar Singh. Uh, Ajay, Ajay, sorry. I, 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 I don't intend to call you Amar Singh. That was complete slip of tongue. Question here is, we are told the recordings of Amar Singh are not there. We have not seen the recordings. Maybe they are there, maybe they are not there. Now we are told that part of the sting operation was not recorded probably, properly. It's all post facto. And 
But you know, uh, uh, Arnav, it's convenient. The question is, why is that the most convenient, uh, critical, crucial piece of evidence is, is strangely not, is missing? Totally. Is strangely missing? Totally. It's a very, very valid point. Let me, let me get in, let, very valid point. Let me get in uh, Ashish Khetan at this point. Ashish, you know, I don't know, my, simple question. You heard Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, what he says. Though the UPA has a lot to answer for here. I mean, they, interestingly, they don't seem to be wanting to come straight into the debate. Does the story open or close with Amar Singh? How do you view Amar Singh's arrest today? No, not, not really. The story doesn't start with Amar Singh and certainly doesn't end with Amar Singh. That's right. The story is that how parliamentary democracy was reduced to a tool of tactical necessity, a necessity, a means to uh, acquire power, to gather influence, and how the BJP, both the BJP, the UPA, and also the Samajwadi Party, they did nothing to uphold the, the core democratic values. You know, the other day they were all exhorting the entire country to to uh, see the, the the parliament with paramount reverence. On that particular day, or in fact the two days before that, a conspiracy is hatched by BJP's top leadership. And the conspiracy is that these three BJP MPs, who are all tribal leaders, they will be used as guinea pigs to entrap first the Congress and if they fail in entrapping Congress then they will go after the weakest link which was Amar Singh and then the, the currency will be smuggled in the parliament they will be a spectacle no matter if, it, if that act brings disrepute to the country and the very uh, system of parliamentary governance but they will create, they will stage manage this spectacle and they will, they will manage a political coup so this was the plan and what the BJP does after that, the BJP calls this staged minus sting, uh, sting operation, this engineered sting operation, a whistle blowing operation. Now what's the bigger issue? They use three BJ what's BJP the MPs issue? as guinea pigs Ashish, to entrap Congress. Ashish, they one minute. They, Ashish. Go after, they, they, they go after. Ashish, what's the bigger issue? Who was paying Amar Singh? Well, is that the bigger issue? Or the charge that you are putting out that the BJP was going on a fishing expedition? If they went on a fishing expedition, and nobody was paying, they would have had a failed fishing expedition. So what is the bigger issue? What's the uh, bigger issue? No, the bigger issue is, there are several bigger issues. One, there is a bigger issue of the sanctity of parliamentary democracy. That's a bigger issue. The second bigger issue is that, yes, the conjectural bigger issue is that who would have been the beneficiary. Obviously, the UPA one would have been the beneficiary. But there are other issues as well. Were there only MPs from the NDA who crossed over to UPA and defied parties whip? Or was it also the case that they were... MPs from Samajwadi Party from UP also who crossed over. If I am not wrong, six Samajwadi Party MPs defied the party whip and they crossed over. So, do are we to believe that those three, those six BJP MPs were also paid? If we are only dealing in conjectures and not on facts, then are we to believe that every B, every MP, whether it was from the NDA or from UPA, who defied the party whip, did that only for money? <coughs> Taking a few questions tonight. One minute. Ravi Shankar Prasad giving you adequate time to reply. I'm going to give you adequate time to reply. I'm getting in at this point. Air Marshal Krishna Swami. Air Chief Marshal Krishna Swami, besides being one of the most eminent officers of the Indian <coughs> Defense Services, has as a group of citizens along with other eminent citizens like Mr. Lingdo, followed up this story very hard. Air Marshal Krishna Swami, what is your take on what appears to be a little bit of a cover up? Um. Uh, I don't know. Firstly, I would, I would like to um, thank you for this uh, this opportunity. Now, uh, while this is all being politically debated, I, as a citizen of India, feel terribly ashamed of what is what had happened. We seem to have missed that point totally somewhere in the debate. I am basically a soldier. I recall when Parliament was attacked with somebody firing a bullet, we were, the, the, our country was ready to go to war on that. Because we felt our sanctum sanctorum is the parliament. And uh, we were terribly upset that sanctum sanctorum was desecrated by this act. We were going to war and it was just a few days to go. And then what happens in 2008, our own people, our elected members, they stage a drama and make a mockery. You see the scene. I'm, I'm 
awfully, terribly ashamed, throwing notes, currency, one crore, whatever that is worth, being paraded there by our elected representatives. Is this the what the country deserves? Now, I, I, feel, uh, I feel very agitated that they should be treated with contempt and are proceeded with by our, the, the laws of the land. And there comes another strange phenomena. It takes six months to file, a, file an FIR. It is three years now, Precisely. nothing has moved. And now there is a charge sheet. I don't know whether Mr. Amar Singh is guilty or who is guilty. That's not, that's not my issue.